so welcome back everybody this is going to be a new format so we're going to be checking out people's review ships in bulk so this here would be Chris the Nightbringer's lovely EVE Online Mimitar vessel and over here Nerf7095 has brought me a full plate I'm going to take a quick sweep round and then we're going to take a little look at each ship close up and we've got Nerf here. Say hello, mate. Hello. And uh, we're going to ask him what the ship is. And I expect various other questions. Uh, the Night Fury was present at the lineup the other day. Yep. Which was awesome. And uh, can't wait to take a look at some of these. We are actually using a modified shader. So that's why everything's looking so JJ Abrams. And. Which ship are we starting on? Is it front left or front right? Uh, over where I am. Because this is basically what I started with oh, on the server. I see you. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this. What is the name of this ship here? The name of it is Starship Wolf, but it's the really old version of it. I basically made this as my first what I used to think was a decent sized ship. Yeah. Until I joined Mushroom Fleet. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, this is basically my starting ship when I joined the server, and it did me well. So, so I haven't really gotten to do much more like I wanted to do, at least with this general shape. Yeah. So. Nice wedging yeah. style on it, though. So, when did you build this? How long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing Star Maid for over a year, and it was well before Pintas and Tetras. Nice. Okay, so that's the name of that ship again? Starship Wolf. Starship Wolf. Okay, moving on to the next ship in Nerf's line, Nerf 7095. What's this and one? And this, this one's also Starship Wolf, but this one is the completely refitted version. Oh, okay, so this one was refitted when they had new blocks, or...? Uh, those came literally right after I refitted it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's a stunning oh. rework. It's a stunning uh, job with the corners. <coughs> it's nice to see them without the lighting glitch that they had at the time. <laughs> yeah. Anything you want to say about this particular ship? Uh, not really, other than the fact that it does have all the new weapon systems. Okay, so. it's been completely updated. Is it available for download? Uh, yes. Okay, we'll just shout out for each one that is. So, okay. the name of this one again is the Star Wolf? Starship, Starship, Starship Wolf. Wolf. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the next ship. What's the name of this one? Sinclair. Uh, where are you? Ah, uh, yes, Sinclair. This one also is available for download. Beautiful ship. I love the shape. It's very unique. Yeah, made this when... I used the name Dalmont wanted, he wanted it to live up to the name, so. It's very nice. An infinity shape. Yeah, I wasn't actually in, I wasn't oh, thinking what? about that when I made it. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is one of the ships I tried to do in interior on, but didn't turn out very well. Well, it's a funny shape to have to do an interior on, to be fair. Yeah. Though, so basically where the middle is where the interior on, it doesn't extend past the uh, split. Yeah. It's sunken. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then. That yep, is actually that, rather odd. And that is the that Sinclair, that. everybody. Anything you want to say about it before we move on? Uh, no. Okay, so the next ship in Basically, line is this white thing. I love the shape on this. Yeah. Okay, this is called the Arctic Dagger. The originally Arctic was going to be. Yeah. That's if cool. You've see, yeah. If you've seen Enterprise's Prometheus yeah. with it being a multi vector assault, that's basically what this was going to be part of. It's going to be a top part. So, but with the server role changes and stuff, I can't really do that anymore, but eh, it's still a nice ship. So. It's 
real nice. Yeah. I love the shape on that. That's amazing. Okay, next ship. What's this? This is a first time I actually took a ship and tried to, well, took a picture and tried to make a ship off of it. Yeah. So this is the Blackbird. Ooh, very nice. Purple intakes. A little bit spacier. So, yeah. So, question, do you know where the door is? Uh, here we go. Find the door. <laughs> find the door, find the door, find the door, find the door. I can see it. Take shaders off. Of course you can. You can you're the guy that built it. Yeah. Though it's also rather, rather well hidden. If you look at the uh, front, try, trying to open it. There we go. It's on the window. Taking advantage of the new glass doors. Ah, uh, glass doors. Yep. Right. There. Oh, nice. Very clever, mate. Very clever. Makes it harder for if they're the boarding parties. So. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, there's yeah, not yeah, really. Yeah. So that name of that ship one more time. Blackbird. Blackbird. I love the engines at the back. Thanks. Okay, yeah. so the next ship is. It's called Darkness. It looks like you kept the wedging design and the basic layout, but went for something a little bit spacier. Yeah. Oh, so, the basic shape. It's cool. Yeah, this is actually a re, uh, rehaul design of the, basically the first ship I ever made. And of course, this is more up to date to than the Starship Wolf. Not only because if you look at the engine and stuff. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Basically, got the idea from at. Use Nocturne, I think it is. Uh huh. So, yeah. So that was neat. So we can basically go into a sort of stealth mode. So, yeah. I knew the the previous version of it was called the Nightshade, which I nice. cannot find the blueprint That's for really anymore. Quite tidy. Okay, so we going back or over to the other side? Uh, this is actually a good spot, and it looks like Let's the turret's back. missing on the left. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll say there's supposed to be turret there. <laughs> yeah. Actually, very curious about what happened there. <coughs> oh, I know what happened. Here, watch this. Magic. Looks like the actual blocks are missing. Yes, yeah, there's no dock there because of a chunk huh. error, which means that it's flown off somewhere. Possibly didn't even get saved. Huh. Hmm. When anyway, I loaded it onto the ship. So anyway, what's the name it? of this ship? This is the Eternity. And you've got to first uh, ship. Oh, uh, sorry. First ship I did it. Here you're on. And you've got to imagine, guys, this turret here should also be on the other side but because of a glitch it hasn't loaded in correctly. Yeah. But that's okay it didn't it did the rest of him right you know yeah so that turret is really outdated it has old weapons on it yep yep so i do have a blueprint of the turret so i'm eventually going to be refitting it so cam bot on the back yeah essential for getting around well, that's lovely, not really... lovely captain's chair. Yep. I remember I you did a review on this, not well a while back as well. Look at that chair. 
I basically stuck with that chair on yeah. every single That's because it's a solid chair design, man. I uh, love yeah. your continual trend of these wedging patterns. You should do more of that, man. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the name of this ship is... The Eternity. The Eternity. And the ship next is... The Arctic Storm. The Arctic Storm, everybody. So, what is the role of this one? This one, I didn't really have much of a role. I was just felt like building, so I made it. And I love the tail. It. Oh my god, the tail's really cool. Yeah, I recently had start, uh, not Dama, uh, Ryben had let me watch him build some stuff while he was streaming, yeah. and I saw him put a tail on it, and I thought that was a neat idea. So, tried it. Wound up liking it. Those tails are ep those tails are epic. I like it. Nice uh, design for the engines, considering the tail. It's nice. Yeah. I like this whole flat top thing you've got going on. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Saves room if I ever decide to put more turrets on it. <laughs> yeah. And then I have landing feet on this as well, but before the uh, wedges came out for Plug Source. So just in case you're wondering guys, you've just joined in late, we are doing a live lineup review for Nerf 7095. So, yeah. Nice landing gear. Yep. Yes. Okay, beautiful, okay. beautiful. And the name of that ship was one more time. The Arctic Storm. The Arctic Storm. Beautiful, okay, and the next ship is... The Alistair. The Alistair. I got the original shell of this from Raven, actually. He was giving them out. There's no detailing on it. And the engines were actually a bit shorter. Yep. But, and this is what I turned it into. So... And it was gray and black, not white and black. So, yeah. Ooh. This is meant to be the escort for my capital ship whenever I get that done. So I might so start calling the Night Fairy my capital ship. I'm not sure. This is a really nice ship, mate. It's the best one I've seen so far. Yeah. I hate to say it, because it was... it's a borrowed shell, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's harsh. It's the first time I really started to care about detailing a lot. So. Yeah. Well, whatever de the detailing, I wish I could see what it looked like originally because the, I'd love to see exactly what you've done on it. You know. I have the blueprint. Have you? Yeah. All I'll right. Upload it. Okay. Upload it. We'll go on to the next one, and then if you could put it behind this one or above it, maybe that'd be great. Well, I don't have the uh, stuff to spawn Oh, in. I'll spawn it in for you then. All right, so okay. one more time. The name of this one is... Alistair. The Alistair. And now we're going to take a look at the next one, which is called... Uh... <laughs> that is called Shadow Frost. Ah. Is this Basically... another variant on the other one? Well, I took the shell from the Alistair, the F... yeah. not the uh, original, and then I added... To it. I can see. It looks really nice what you've done with it. Yeah. Great. It's in and the same uploaded. style as your original, actually, just with a lot more level of detail. Yeah. I take yeah. it back. This is the best one I've seen so far. <laughs> I hate yeah. saying that because I keep having to update that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, <coughs> the uh, blueprint is uploaded now. Okay. I just called it Shell from Raven. Yeah, I made this as the escort for my night fury. And there's actually on a dock, uh, a dock on the night fury that can hold this. So, which nice. was a pain, pain to get the docking area. 
I can imagine. Yeah, it fits in right between the nacelles. Just put his trademark chair. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real beauty, man. Yeah, I actually wound up taking a, uh, basically copy and paste uh, template for it. Okay. Alright, so let's keep going and we'll do that other comparison at the end. Okay. What is the blue one, I think? We'll do the blue one first. The one that sort of looks like a, well, the vertical ship? Yes. The uh, model that, is, <laughs> that is the ice shard. That is um, really funky. Yeah, first attempt at a vertical ship. Well, and only attempt. I'm not sure why everything's getting glitched into the dock. Oh, don't worry about that. Hmm. Well, yeah. So this was just me wanting to build a vertical ship. And basically sort of adding some detail to it. So. But with that, it is kind of boxy but yeah but then it's you're going for a smooth shape so yeah what do you do yeah okay originally uh, on these things that are sticking out there were turrets right and then on front and back so there was a total of like eight turrets or more uh, no ten turrets because on top and bottom so this that was basically a warship so, nice. name of that ship again? The name of the ship is Ice Shard. Ice Shard. And moving on to the next ship in Nerf 7095's lineup is. This is the Ice Spikes. The Ice. The ice Spikes? Yeah. I nice. Figured with the points I made on it. I can't really think of a better name, but. This is another outdated ship. To where there's no pentazine touchers or any amazing. weapon system. Yeah. This was my first attempt at a large ship above 100 meters long. So, yeah. So this was a while back. Uh, I made it. Took me forever because I was trying to figure out the uh, organi organization for these systems. So then wound up having a symmetry mistake later on that messed up the systems but eh, stuff happens and just have to fix it later but yeah and this is also the ship the first time I got really into making good looking engine designs so have a look at the back yeah. then Interesting, yeah, you got cowling on it. Contrast grill. <coughs> Very nice. Oh! Oh, I thought you were looking at the one right next to it. No. Oh, that's the Surrey. Not the I was gonna say the engines on the per on the one on the one next to it are better. So this one here is the Surrey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the one I'm pointing the laser at. We is might the have Siri. actually we might have actually already looked at this one. <laughs> Okay, so well, we... we'll go over to the octagonal one here. Yeah. It's like it got a shark mouth or something like a whale, a snail mouth. Yeah. I don't know, worm mouth. Uh. Mm -hmm. so this is the one. Yeah. Let's have a look at these engines, shall we? Of course, they would be considered hazardous now because they are using lava. Yeah, well, who's going to walk around the walls of your engine, man? I don't know. Some people might. <coughs> or maybe they should die. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you can't, I wouldn't advise standing at the back of a working jet stream, you know. <laughs> yeah. So Very nice one... pixel work on the mouth of the, you know, at the front here. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> 
sort of the same style. You like having sticky outy bits with rails that have engines and guns on. Yeah. It's a cool design. It actually started with the nightshade that happening. Yeah. So. So the name of this one, one more time. This is the ice, uh, uh, Arctic spikes or ice spikes. Okay, and now we finally move on to the Night Fury, which is going to be getting a full walk around review very soon. But yes. Look at this beauty. We took a little look at on the lineup review, so you'll see it on the highlight on uh, Fleet Reviews or on Fleet Review, youtube.com slash Fleet Review. And this is complete now? Uh, yes. Nice. So we're going to do the interior tour soon. Yeah. Well, it's complete right. unless they decide to add uh, Plex Door, Pintas, and Tetris, which I hope. Oh. Who knows, man? Yeah. Christmas already came, but. Yeah. Years. Yeah. But this was made to be basically the anniversary ship of me being on Mushroom Fleet for one year. Nice. I so. love those sorts of builds. Yeah. Basically, uh, use the seventh Durandell, I think is how it's pronounced. Yep, seventh uh, Durandell, yeah. Yeah, I use his Excelsior secondary hull nacelles, but recolored them, obviously. Uh, and then, uh, redid the basically nature area of it. Yep. And then added some detail, <coughs> like a symbol in the hangar. I love the uh, the color choices. Thank you. Oh yeah, just to throw a shout out there for everybody. Seventh has updated his ship and it is fully finished. Oh nice! We'll have to check that out as well. Yeah, I took out all the systems in it. We did that, but I didn't know how outdated they were. So, and actually, when I built the well, put in the weapons of this, there's actually a glitch going on. To where you need to double the support in order to have 100% effect. Yeah, oh, right. So the a lot of the mass are... is taken up with that. Yeah. So I gotta fix that. And Enterprise E said it was actually a bit overpowered for its size. Uh, well, the amount of turrets will do that. Yeah. Maybe it's Terran Empire on Y holes. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And before, before a. Uh, like weapons nerf or something uh it's nuke missiles that had an ion effect uh used to take down its shields to zero so but that was before a weapons nerf but anyways the dock is that basically at the back of it on top of the well like right in front of the hangar door uh where there's sort of like a thing going up, that's where the dock for the Shadow Frost is. Oh, the bit on the back? Yes. Right here. Okay, well, I can't wait yeah. to get the full review on this one. We're going to take another whip round, just so everyone can see the ships we've checked out today. We're not going to call out the names again, but here they are. They'll be on the past broadcast and on a video on Mushroom Fleet very, very soon. So... This is Nerf 7095's fleet lineup. Okay. And thanks for doing this, Tom. Hey, no problem. I'm glad that you actually bothered to, you know, get your ships together like this and uh, get it all set up for me. Uh, it's pretty seamless. I would not have and been able to do this. And a lot of nice ships. Yeah, I would not have been able to do this if it wasn't for my computer. Mate, my old computer. To be honest, that's the beauty of a dedicated server. It does allow you to get double the power. Yeah. Though on my single player, I wouldn't have been able to ha handle everything in this sector. Oh, wow. But this new computer, it's running at a solid 60 FPS. Nice. With it being capped at 60, so. Okay, and finally, oh. for those that hung around, let's spawn in that uh, ship for the shell and take a look at it. <laughs> I'm going to okay. come over to the left hand side because it's the only place that will be free. So we're going to have a big box of it, this thing. Okay. Right, and... there we go. And level. 
Okay. What do we call it when it's a thing? It was called <coughs> Joel from Raven. Something from Raven. There it is. Uh oh! Clicked on the on the button that. No. Uh oh! What, what did I do? Okay. Right. Okay, guys. So this is the original shell. Yeah, he was giving it out one day because he said he will never finish it. So, that of course, is... me. That is the original shell. I'm going to go and take a look yeah. down the back. What I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go straight up to your first ship. Uh -huh. Yeah, when he said he was giving this away, considering Raven has been my favorite builder, I was like, Oh, uh, time to get my jump ship. Go through there. So, and I'm happy I did because I was able to make. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, I can see what you've done now, and it's actually a hell of a lot. Yeah, not to mention all the internals and all that. Yeah. So, actually, the first you reviewed this in the past, but the first review I took it to was one Ravens. Ah. So. And it evolved into this. Yes. The monster. Yeah. This the Shadow Frost has about double the power of the Alistair. It's so. beautiful. I love the color scheme that you've ended up with. Yeah, I really blue, like black purple, and blue. black. Yeah. Wow. Okay then, guys. Well, um, let's just do something for lol, shall we? Hmm. Here goes. Everyone ready? And we'll do this one first. Uh -oh. oh boy. Fleet warp the lot. And then finally, the, 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 for, the, for my final trick. Where's my space core? Give me my space core. Hmm. Here it goes. Uh. Huh. Yeah. 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 So, again, thanks for doing this, and thanks for hosting such an amazing server. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. We'll not have made it this far in building without it. Hey, man. Just uh, keep coming back. <laughs> I can't wait to see the interior of that thing. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be taking a short break. And I'll be back soon.